Hi guys, it's Ksenia. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing another perfume haul. I know I always do the affordable perfume hauls. This one's a little bit more high-end than my affordable perfume hauls. There are some perfumes here that you can find for like under $40, but a lot of these are designers, things that you could find at Sephora right now. Some of them are discontinued, so because of that reason, they've kind of gone up in price a little bit. A lot of these are gonna be like my summertime staple perfumes i have already worn some of these out and i've gotten so many compliments a lot of these are exactly what i've been searching for for a while and i think i finally found exactly what i was searching for so i'm really excited to share these new perfumes with you guys i hope that you will like them too a lot of these are recommendations from you as per usual but before we get into talking about all of that please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on and let's get straight into this video so i know that people usually leave the best for last but in this case I have no patience. This was a blind buy. It was kind of a risky blind buy, but at the same time, knowing me and knowing the notes of this perfume beforehand, I was like, people say it's a risky blind buy, but not if you are into these kinds of scents. And I definitely am. So for me, this was a safe blind buy, but I'm not going to recommend it to you guys if you're not into these types of perfumes. This is not the safest blind buy because she's a little loud. So this is Givenchy Hot Couture. This is the Eau de Parfum. They do have an Eau de Toilette. Before I got this perfume, I was actually on the hunt for the Eau de Toilette because it seemed like in everybody's videos and even if you went on Fragrantica, a lot of people were talking about the eau de toilette it seemed like that was kind of like the more preferred version there is a pretty heavy like smoky note in here which i guess was off-putting to a lot of people and people were recommending the eau de toilette because apparently it's a little bit softer on the smokiness but as I was trying to look for the Eau de Toilette, I came to find out that the Eau de Toilette is nowhere to be found. I went to so many stores. I went to so many like perfume kiosks. I even checked online and then the Eau de Toilette seemed to be out of stock everywhere. So I was like, you know what? Like, why am I even trying to buy the Eau de Toilette? I really like the notes of the Eau de Parfum. I like loud perfumes. So maybe I should just go and experience, you know, everything that this scent has to offer. And I actually ended up finding this for like 60 something dollars, which I thought was a really good price because this is a Givenchy perfume and it is the 100 ml full size bottle. So this is what this perfume looks like. There's something about this bottle that is really satisfying to me. It kind of looks like a gold bar or like even a chocolate bar. I don't even know. I've had this perfume for what, like maybe a week i actually posted this on my story the day that i got it because i was so in love with it after blind buying it and spraying it out i was like oh my god that smells so good if i could redo that euphoria video that i did of picking what scents each euphoria character would wear this is what i would pick for maddie if you want to smell hot if you want to smell sexy this is it this scent just gets me. I wore it out for dinner the other day and we were out with a couple of my friends. As soon as I stepped in, she was like, you smell so freaking good. So I was actually kind of scared going into this, especially the Eau de Parfum, because the way that people made it sound was that this was going to be so smoky. People were saying this smells like a hookah lounge or something like that, like insanely smoky. And I am not the biggest fan of smoky scents. I don't like to smell like I just got done like chain smoking or something. I personally don't smoke. I hate smoking i'm honestly really sensitive to smoke like if somebody else is smoking they could be like 10 miles away from me and i will smell it and i will start to like choke and more so i don't want to smell like i smoke when i don't so definitely was kind of hesitant going into it but i don't think that this is as i guess as pungent as people make it out to be on that smoke note i really don't and i am so sensitive to smoky notes i would honestly say that there's more so like a suede or a leather type of note that's giving off that vibe but this doesn't really smell like smoke to me it smells more like the note suede this has top notes of raspberry orange and bergamot middle notes of pepper vetiver magnolia and base notes of sandwood amber and musk there's actually no smoke scent in here or like an incense type of scent there's none of that in here so i'm guessing that what's giving off that sort of leathery almost smoky type of scent is just the mix of maybe the pepper vetiver and sandalwood i would say more so the sandalwood is standing out a little bit more than anything but that's what i'm talking about like i don't really find this smoky as much as i find it really woody and almost leather like but 
really really sweet at the same time if you guys are familiar with the adam levine perfume which is like a sandalwood bomb of a fragrance and i had to get rid of it because i just could not handle it i do not like that scent and that's not what the sandalwood in here smells like it is strong but in a very sexy way in a really sweetened out way in a very smooth way and i would say the top most outstanding note in here is also the raspberry so it's kind of like a mix of raspberry leatheriness that just gives this the most sexy feel ever i mean if you want to smell sexy this is the perfume that you go for i really don't think that it's as crazy as people make it out to be maybe if you don't like super super sweet scents scents that have a little a little unique vibe to them maybe this wouldn't be the safest blind buy but i feel like what people made this out to be was just a lot crazier than what it is this is a beautiful scent in my opinion and i recommend this to absolutely everyone that likes sweeter scents stronger scents this is a scent that projects like crazy and it stays on like crazy it will stay on you for the entire day into the next day you're going to be smelling it on your clothes it's just amazing i cannot talk more highly about this scent this is like my signature scent at this point it almost has like a makeup type of scent to it and i love those kinds of perfumes and i don't have any perfume that smells quite like this in my collection the name of it could not be any more fitting so that is hot couture by Givenchy. so this next scent and me go way back so this is the sol de janeiro sol cherosa 62 perfume now the reason why i say that this and me go way back is because i have owned the body mist cherosa 62 for a very long time i wear it pretty much every single summer and i love it for a while i was using it so much that i was like kind of getting sick of it because it is a stronger scent she definitely projects a lot and so i kind of put it down for a little bit but recently i was actually watching a video from demi rolling and she did a video on like the sexiest perfumes for women or something like that or i think it was called like perfumes that every woman needs something like that and she has a lot of niche perfumes like insanely high quality expensive perfumes so for her to talk about this scent i was like what after that video i kind of went into my body mist and basically revisited it i sprayed it out and i was like mm, like this is really really good i feel like it was kind of crucial for me to take a little break from it because now i appreciate it so much more and i'm not sure how long after the body spray came out that they released the actual perfume version of it but oh it's mm, i can't even talk about Oh my god, I can't even talk about it because the smell just completely like took my train of thought away from me. <laughs> this is Summer in a Bottle. I bought this recently like maybe a week and a half ago, but I don't think I'm actually going to start using it until we really get into like the summer summer time or maybe even the springtime because where I live it's... 100 degrees every single day if you guys own the sol de janeiro boom boom cream the original one because i know they've come out with other scents since that one came but if you own that if you own the body mist this is exactly those scents but in a perfume form it's an eau de parfum but basically the oil concentration is a little bit stronger if you don't want to go this route and actually buy the perfume i actually think the body spray lasts so long the body spray lasts on me like a perfume would especially when i pair it up with the boom boom cream and i put those together i'm literally smelling like that for like three days straight but i wanted to pick this up because i'm such a big fan of the body spray and i just feel like because i like those scents that i would probably definitely love a stronger version of it this scent has top notes of pistachio almond middle notes of heliotrope and jasmine and base notes of caramel vanilla salt and sandalwood i don't even know how to even begin to describe this it's a beachy scent it smells like the beach it smells like vacation but there's no coconut in it like it's not like a sunscreen type of beachy scent it just smells like summertime and that's not really something that i can put into words it's something that once you smell you kind of have your own scent memories of you know your own little beach vacations vacations in the summertime and as soon as you smell it this is what it will remind you of it'll instantly just put you in that like happy summertime mood i would say the standout notes in here for me are like a good mixture of pistachio and almond with caramel with sandalwood a little bit of saltiness to give that beachy vibe and then a heck of a lot of vanilla because this is overall a very sweet scent 
but it is so sexy and it is so feminine and you're going to blow everybody away with this scent i mean i just don't think that there's anybody that can dislike this scent i mean you can probably maybe but i just feel like if you wear this out it's almost guaranteed that you're going to get a compliment like no doubt about it so that is sol de janeiro sol cherosa 62 eau de parfum so, let me get into another really amazing discovery that i don't know why it took me so long to finally pick up this perfume because i've heard a lot about it and i've wanted to get it for a long time i just never really seen it in stores but i actually found this at macy's and i've seen the tonic version of this floating around like tj maxx marshall's this is the azuro wanted girl the original eau de parfum like i said they have the tonic version as well which i guess is a flanker of this one but when you look at the notes of that it's a lot more fresh it seems like a little bit more floral and just not as sweet as this so obviously this is definitely the one that i wanted to go for basically the way that i discovered this scent i was with my husband at the mall one day and we were walking around we went to macy's and i was just kind of walking around smelling a bunch of perfumes and i went into this stand where they had the azuro perfumes for women and i saw this and i was like oh my god that has been a scent that i've been wanting for such a long time so i picked up the tester bottle and i sprayed it all over me and my husband was like that smells so good and at first i was like i'm not gonna get it like i'm not gonna get it and we walked out of the store as soon as we walk out you know how like perfumes just smell differently when you're outside than how they do when you're indoors like they just almost smell better when you're outside because the wind is kind of like wafting the scent around you and as soon as i step outside i was just like filled with this amazing scent and my husband was right next to me and he was like wow like i really really like that he was telling me how like sexy it was and i was like okay i'm going back we're going back i'm definitely going to get this perfume here is what azuro wanted girl perfume looks like it basically looks like a little grenade and the way that you spray it is actually so unique like you kind of just pull it like that The way that this smells, especially on your skin, it smells good in the air too, but the way that it smells on your skin, I don't know if this just does really well with my chemistry, but this smells so incredibly good to me. Oh my god. This has top notes of ginger flower, orange blossom, pomegranate, and pink pepper, middle notes of dulce de leche, datura, and base notes of tonka bean, patchouli, and Haitian vetiver clearly just reading those notes i was like mm, i'm probably gonna like that you definitely start off with kind of a spicy fruity type of scent but it's like dark fruits dark berries like pomegranate basically which i love and then you also get that orange blossom which is like a really like sweet floral type of smell and like i said it's a little bit spicy in the opening because you have ginger flower and then you also have pink pepper so you definitely do get those notes a little bit but then you get that dulce de leche which oh my god that is the main part i would say about this perfume it literally smells like caramel like deliciousness like dulce de leche ice cream which i'm obsessed with i that's the only ice cream i ever get definitely gives me a gourmand vibe don't judge this perfume by spraying it on a like tester strip and then just you know judging it off of that you have to wear this wear it out see how it kind of meshes with your skin chemistry and what it kind of turns to and that's when you really have to judge it because this just does wonders when it is mixed with your body chemistry and with your natural smell this just creates like the best sweetest sexiest delicious scent ever the vetiver in here is very mild and so is the patchouli but I think it's what is making this really long lasting. This scent honestly kind of reminds me of Poison Girl by Dior. Kind of gives me the same vibe. But it honestly took me a while to warm up to Poison Girl. Because there's something kind of sharp in Poison Girl for me. That I, I don't know, it just doesn't mix well with my chemistry. I, I don't really know how to pinpoint it. But it's a little bit cloying almost at times when I wear it. Whereas this one never gives me that problem. Like this is the more wearable version of Poison Girl, but it's that same type of sweetness. If you like caramelly, dulce de leche, creamy, sweet, almost borderline like gourmand type of scents, this is definitely going to be it for you. The next scent, I'm pretty sure I've included this in a video, but not a haul. I don't even remember. So this is MAC 
creme de nude. I've seen a lot of people mentioning how this is like a really sexy scent and that's what really made me want to get my hands on this. If you don't know anything about these MAC scents, they've created a lot of these perfumes kind of based off, well not really based off, but inspired by the names of their lipsticks so creme de nude is a nude lipstick in their line and creme de nude is kind of the perfect name for it i just realized what video i included this in i'm pretty sure it was a body mist dupes for high-end perfumes video and the body mist dupe that i duped this was warm vanilla sugar by bath and body works so basically just to put it into perspective that's kind of what i feel like this smells like but it's like a sexier smokier more complex version of warm vanilla sugar but it's in the same type of family i believe the main reason why this scent kind of got a little bit of fame is because people were saying for a while that it was a really really good dupe to tom ford's tobacco vanille which i've smelled tobacco vanille i don't own it but i've smelled it many times I've just never really gotten the courage to actually buy that scent because although I'm not like completely repulsed by it, I actually do find it pretty nice once it really, really, really settles into the skin. And I feel like this, I don't think it's as intense as Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. It's not as polarizing as that scent is. You can definitely smell like a leathery suede note in here and that's because there's a suede note in here. This has top notes of neroli, middle notes of caramel, musk, and suede, and base notes of Madagascar vanilla and ambrette. So as you can tell, there's a lot of really sweet notes in here. It's kind of also dominated by a lot of really unique notes as well, like that suede note, which really, really stands out in here. If I could pick like my top three notes that I smell, it would be a mixture of suede, caramel and madagascar vanilla and that's in order of like what i smell the most i would say the main thing that kind of mixes with all of the other notes that are in here is that suede i think that's the main thing that i smell but that suede is kind of sweetened out by the caramel it's sweetened out by the vanilla so it's not so intense but it gives this like a really 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 sexy smoky almost type of feel like i said again like hot couture anytime there's like a suede note or a leathery type of note it kind of gives off a smoky type of vibe because it's just kind of like a almost like a rugged sort of a scent but it really adds sexiness it's kind of hard to explain but it's just what it does so that is mac creme de nude this next scent i have gotten recommended a million times to try out this scent and the only reason why i hesitated for the longest time buying this is because every time i would go to do my little research on fragrantica and i would take a look at the section where it tells you like what other perfumes that perfume smells like the first one that would come up for it was vanilla 28 by kayali which as you may know if you watch my channel i literally talked so much crap about that scent because i in all honestly just really did not like vanilla 28 like no shade no tea i believe kayali is owned by huda beauty and i love huda beauty i use their makeup products all the time but that scent i just did not like it it smelled like straight up like a church to me so the scent that i am talking about here is the seven virtues vanilla woods I have gotten comments time and time again to try out this perfume and finally I was like you know what maybe there's a reason why people say that this is really good maybe this is better than Kali 28 just because people say that it reminds them of vanilla 28 doesn't mean it has to be like exactly like it so I decided to go into the store and finally give this a try and before I bought it I kind of put it on and let it settle on my skin I walked out of the store and the whole day, it kept wafting to me and I was getting this delicious vanilla scent. But not a basic vanilla scent. Not a sweet gourmand type of vanilla scent. It was like, I don't even know how to describe it. Like a fruity vanilla with creaminess to it, but also with freshness. It was the most unique vanilla scent that I own in my collection. And the way that this smells in the air... It smells similar to how it smells on your skin, don't get me wrong. But I just feel like the way that it actually mixes with your skin, it creates the most amazing scents ever. If you love vanilla scents, obviously this would be like the safest blind buy in the world. But I think even if you don't, 
this is still the safest blind buy in the world because I think it smells that good. Like I am very confident in recommending this to a wide variety of people that have different types of scent preferences because I feel like there's something in here that everyone can enjoy. The top notes in here are pear, it has middle notes of rose, and base notes of vanilla, caramel, and amber. In my personal opinion, the top notes that I smell is such a delicious combo of pear and vanilla. But that pear, I can't even describe how good the pear smells. And you can definitely smell the pear. And it's such a juicy, realistic, not synthetic type of pear that just smells so amazing. And then it also is kind of rounded out by a really nice touch of amber, which gives it like that sexy, perfumey touch. I love this. Thank you to everybody that recommended this to me. I'm so glad that I gave this a chance. I didn't just push it away simply because people were saying it reminded them of Vanilla 28. Now, after smelling Vanilla 28, which you guys know I bought so excitedly and then I had to return because I, I hated it. I do not think that they smell similar. The vanilla in them, I guess, kind of is similar. They kind of have a little hint of similarity, but... I hated that scent so, so much, and I love this so, so much. So that just kind of goes to show you that I don't think that they're that similar. Or if anything, I feel like this has exactly what I felt like Vanilla 28 lacked. I believe also that this is like a clean, organic type of perfume brand. It's cruelty-free, it's vegan, it's made with a lot of organic ingredients. So I feel like if you kind of have a sensitivity to a lot of smells or you're allergic to perfumes, I think this would be also like a really safe perfume to try out. It lasts all day, but without being punchy that it just like, oh my God, it like screams at you. It's not that kind of a scent. It's soft, but it's beautiful. It has a sexiness to it in its own type of way, but it's also effortless in that sexiness, if that makes any sense. I feel like this is such a versatile scent. You could wear it out. You could wear this at home. You could wear it out to a nice dinner. You could wear it out to so many types of occasions in the winter time, in the summer, in the fall, in the spring. Like, it's endless. This is easily such a beautiful everyday signature type of scent. So that is Vanilla Woods by The Seven Virtues. So the very last scent that I have for this video is this perfume right here, which I was so excited because I actually found this at Marshall's for an insane price. I believe it was either $50 or $60. And this is a Hermes perfume or Hermes. I don't know how to say it, but this is a name that I cannot pronounce. L'Ombre de Merveille, something like that. I'll put the name of it on the screen because clearly I can't say it. But I just thought that this was such an amazing deal because for it being a Hermes perfume, I was expecting this to go for at least like $100, maybe even more. And it is only a little one fluid ounce version, but if you know anything about Hermes perfumes, you know they are definitely not cheap scents. And the way that this smells is so good. So this particular one, I know that there's a lot of flankers in this range. And I don't know if all of them are unisex, but this right here is unisex. And I love this perfume. If you love Chloe Nomad, this is a scent that I guarantee you, you will love. This smells so much like Chloe Nomad to me. It's so beautiful. I can definitely see that this would work for men and for women. But I honestly find this very feminine, very sexy, insanely sexy. I know I said that about every single one of these perfumes, but I feel like they're all sexy in their own ways. This one is so, I don't know how to describe this scent. It's so unique. It has that Chloe Nomad type of vibe to it, which I actually, I don't have Chloe Nomad anymore in my collection because my mom actually took it for me because she loved that scent. So I just gave it to her and that's like her signature perfume now. She wears it every single day. And every time I smell this type of scent, it reminds me of Chloe Nomad. This scent also weirdly reminds me of Coke, like Coca-Cola. This smells like Coca-Cola to me, especially when you spray it out. It has like a sweetness, but it's so musky all at the same time. It has a little touch of masculinity in it. It has a little touch of femininity in it. It is just a really unique scent. I don't think that this is a safe blind buy, honestly. It's just too unique for it to be a safe blind buy. And something that I actually discovered about this scent is that it has sparkles in it. And just off of that, I was like sold off of this scent. I didn't know that it was going to have sparkles, but I sprayed it out on my skin. And I saw all these little tiny, teeny, tiny little shimmers all throughout my skin. And I was like, are you joking? So the composition in here is very simple, but it smells 
so complex. This has top notes of black tea, middle notes of incense, and base notes of tonka bean. That's it. Three notes, but it's kind of the same thing as Alien. Alien also only has like three notes in his composition, and it's like the most basic notes ever. But the way that it smells, you would think it's made out of like 700 notes because it just smells so unique and so complex. That's kind of the same type of thing with this perfume. I honestly don't think that this is a heavy projecting, heavy, heavy type of scent. I think this is a beautiful, intimate sort of skin scent that just, it just kind of transforms with your skin. I actually put this on my husband and then I put it on me and it did something different for both of us. Like on him, it ended up smelling almost a little bitter and on me, it kind of turned more sweet. Because of that tea, it has kind of like a calming effect to it. I don't really think that this is an obnoxious scent, but I do think that this is a unique scent. And it is definitely on the unisex vibe, so I think you would definitely have to like a masculine touch to your sense to really enjoy this if you are a woman trying to wear this kind of almost has like a smokiness because of that incense note but then you get a little bit of creamy sweetness coming from the tonka bean and then kind of like a calming feel from the black tea so that's basically what i get in this sense so that is l'ombre de ma veille i don't know I'm just going to give up on saying these names and you guys can just read it off of the screen. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked all of these perfumes just as much as I did. Let me know which of these you have in your collections. If you have tried any of these and you love them or you hate them, leave me your opinions in the comments. And as always, please don't forget to leave me your perfume recommendations. But that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already and turn your post notifications on and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!